I'd like to start the uh, Northampton License Commission meeting for September 5th, 2011. Um, people President Brian Campbelli, Chair, Natasha Yakolov, and Hel Helen Kahn. Uh, we are audio video recording at this time. And is there any public comment? Seeing none, we'll move on. Item number three. Application for short-term liquor license, trustees of Forbes Library, DBA Forbes Library. Time and date is September 22nd, 2018, 2 to 5 p.m. Osborne Art Gallery, 20 West Street, reception, Francis Dack and Paul Dowling, Wine and Malt, request for your right How are you doing? Can you state your name for the uh, record? Paige Kaufman. Hi. Thank you for coming. So can you tell us a little bit about um, Sam our exhibit, um, it's not exactly an opening reception because they hung the show already, but uh, one of the artists just went to Ireland and is coming back on the 21st, so we're going to have the reception on the 22nd. Okay. So wine and cheese and cookies, salsa, grapes, apple chips. I don't have any questions. Do you guys have any questions? I don't. This is the usual event. Yes. yes. Would you like to make a motion? Yeah. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for the trustees of Forbes Library, DBA Forbes Library, on September 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m. at the Hosmer Art Gallery at 20 West Street for a, an artist reception serving wine and malt. And I also um, move to approve the request for the fee waiver. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Number four, application to change the manager on annual all alcohol package store license. Table and buy the ink. Manager is, I'm not even going to try. Sam Chevalier. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right. So, um, so you've got the application, all, all the paperwork, so all set. Okay. So it's just change of manager? Yeah. Simple as that. How's it going over there? Fantastic. Um, beautiful store. I've been there now for a couple months. Just yeah. got transferred there, and and uh, it's beautiful. Um, I, you know, I've, I've I've been exposed to wine and beer in the past with with other stores, with our, our Connecticut stores. So it is new to me um, to certify. And um, we just I think this facility does an excellent job. You know, I was hitting the ground running when I got there because the previous manager had already pretty much set us up for success. So. Um, and very vigilant um, and at this point we run reports as far as checking IDs as well so um, you know you can kind of tell if, if someone is checking an ID or not by the fact that if they're putting in everyone was born January 1st 1934 and obviously we know they're not checking IDs uh, my second day I ran that report and I didn't have any any issues whatsoever so they, they, we were already hitting the ground running they already did a very good job on that facility
So we'll be serving food, but not excessively. Um, entertainment will be more small, acoustic. There will be some amplification, but um, you know, working on bringing back some of the jazz that used to be around our camp regularly, and um, sort of light entertainment and stuff. Right. Uh, right. And this will be, the entertainment will be inside, right? Yes, correct. Right. Yeah. Do you have um, a plan in place for uh, noise or sound control? Um, <clears throat> none of the exterior windows are operable, okay. um, so we don't expect much to travel beyond um, our interior. Mm -hmm. um, both vestibules are at, in our outer doors. Um, so the entry point is from both from the parking lot behind the Street. Railroad out Street. Okay. Street. Um, I guess our primary address is the Pearl Street side. Right. Um, so the noise, you know, we don't have any plans of staying open to the late night crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, you know, latest we'd be pushing for is 11 o'clock for entertainment. Yep. Right. And then when do you expect to get your federal and state license? Federal license we have, state, I hope to have in the next week so we can make your next meeting for an important permit. Um, it's based on their average days, we should have it. Uh, in time for the next meeting. Okay. Um, but otherwise, we'd have to be bumped to November 7th meeting, I understand. Perfect. Okay, and you're going to have everybody in place at that time. I guess we'll probably end with that time. Tips. <coughs> so, uh, safe. tip certification, food safe, serve safe, okay. um, forklift certifications, all those right. things that we need. And that will be. Approximately full time employees when we open and we make grow some over time. But. Right. Okay. I don't have any questions. Do you guys have any other questions? I think I'm also have a problem. Good. Would you like to make a motion? Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the application for common venture license and entertainment license for Think Tank Brewers LLC, DBA Progression Brewing Company at 9 Pearl Street. Uh, this includes the entertainment of open mic, acoustic jazz night, musicians with the amplifiers during the proposed hours of Wednesday, Thursday, 7 to 10, Friday, Saturday, 5 to 11, and Sundays, 12 to 6. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you again, too. Right. <coughs> Number six, application for short-term nice. liquor license. Blue Paws, AJJ Stabber. Saturday, October 6, 2018, 2 to 8 p.m. at JJ's Tavern, 99 Main Street, Florence. The event is the Oktoberfest Celebration Wine and Malt. Anybody here to rep that? Okay, back to the bottom. Uh, number seven, application for short-term liquor licenses. The Academy of Music, Inc., BBA, Academy of Music Theater, 274 Main Street, Northampton, it's wine and all. Request a fee waiver and the date and times are as follows September 27th, 2018, 7 to 10. Um, September 28th, 2018, 7 to 10. And October 9th, 2018, 7 to 10. October 13th, 2018, uh, 7 to 10. And October 19th, 2018, 7 to 10. Please state your name for the record. Sure. Patty McDonald. Nice to see you again. Sure. Pretty much the same as always. Yes, sir. So, okay. Seeing that, I've got no questions. <laughs> Definitely to you guys. Okay. Can we talk about doing this once? Oh, but you wanted to leave it out. You're you're happy to come here every month. <laughs> great. <laughs> um, I went into October for this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. So. All right. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> And we're still booking for October and oh, okay. November, so uh, right, right. It's, you'll get to see me again in October. It's fantastic. Right. Right. Happy to. Great. I have no questions. Make a motion. Sure. I make a motion to apply the applications for short-term liquor licenses um, at the Academy of Music, DBA Academy of Music Theater, um, 274 Main Street, Northampton, Wine and Malt, and um, motion to approve the fee waiver to the five dates as spread. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
Number eight, application for short-term liquor license. Building 8 Brewing. Building 8 Brewing, uh, September 22nd, 2018, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Place is Building 8 Brewing, 20 Riverside Drive, third annual celebration, wine and malt. How are you doing? Say your name for the record, please. Oh, Brian Tomlin. Nice to see you again. Same as the other uh, events I presented. Yeah, we'll have a cornered off area. Uh, so I've got a uh, tip certification numbers coming to you. All the tests are pending, but I'll have uh, at least six of us that are tip certified, but only uh, maybe three people serving, but other people just in the crowd and checking IDs and stuff like that. We'll be wristbanding everyone. Um, Release of three new beers, brand new beers, three beers, third anniversary, and type of thing. Just um, trying to get some re reinvigorate the brand a little bit. And, uh, we skipped it last year, so we're doing it this year. Maybe every other thing, but last year we didn't really have any issues with anybody on site. I know there was a a little bit of parking, but we're going to include that in our little flyer. Uh, nothing too big of a deal. Just people are more like. Wow, <laughs> we've got some people here, you know. Yeah. So, but we have it on a on a Saturday, so there's no one in the cutlery, so we have a decent amount of spaces there to use, and there shouldn't be any any issues with the street stuff, you know. And um, it's the same physical setup as your June event. No, it'll be um, it'll be in the courtyard this time. Oh, okay. Uh, to handle the way between okay. us and ZMA, yeah. and that's a little bit easier because we basically will fence off one end, and the only entrance is to come in right by ZMA there, and we have yeah. a table set up and two people uh, one guy wristbanding the other guy checking IDs yeah. so it was a lot easier to have everybody kind of funneling that way they'll also be able to access into the store as mm -hmm. well but everything else will be all fenced off okay. so and we've got uh, we bought a big amount of fencing yeah. that we just have for events that we can just put it right out and it works pretty good Great. so excellent so um, the only thing you're waiting on is tip certs yeah, I have uh, I have a couple numbers, but I was just going to give them all to you at the same time. We just had five guy five uh, yeah five guys got tested, including myself. I'm recertifying. Yeah, um, I, mine uh, ran out, but uh, I have a couple people that are still good, and then we got five more we're adding to the mix. But we're only planning on two people in, inside the area and two people outside pouring in a remote sort of thing, and then we'll have people checking IDs, but not actually serving. And also, I'd like to say too, we do provide uh, free drinking water and, mm -hmm. and beverages. Just we'll be charging for the beers, but everything else will be just we give to people who buy some water, <coughs> seltzer, and stuff like that, so people can have it, especially sure. if it's hot. So, yeah. so we want to make a motion pending tips. Yeah. 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 On September 22nd, 12 to 6 p.m. at 320 Riverside Drive for the third anniversary celebration, uh, wine and malt short term license. Second that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. One quick question for you. Sure. Can I bring those to you anyway? Yeah. Bring please. the check or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, sorry. That's what I was planning on doing. Okay. Actually, yeah. okay. All right. Great. Thanks again. Thank you. Stick around for a little bit too. All right. <laughs> Making fuel. Um, <laughs> Item number nine, an application for short-term liquor license for the Building Brewery, LLC, September 22nd, 2018, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., Look Memorial Park, Dow Pavilion, Light Fest, Wine and Malt, and uh, tips and insurance are all set. Anyone, can you state your name for the record? Sure, uh, Matt Tarlecki, Sean Condon. All right, thank you for coming. Sure, so I'm uh, here representing uh, the brewery. Um, and then Sean here is representing um, the Bike Fest event itself. Um, do you want to say a little about the event, what we're, what's happening? So uh, Bike Fest uh, has been happening for many years. Uh, we're holding it in the Book Park uh, at Dow Pavilion. Um, as in the past, we have a bunch of uh, rides that go out in the morning and then riders come back in the afternoon for food and drink, uh, uh, part of which is uh, beer that will be served. Um, so we're just looking for the application to once again serve beer at that. And this is mountain bikes and such, right? Road bikes. Oh, these are yeah. road bikes, but paddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no motorcycles. <laughs> I know, like, you know, Angels is going to be coming out of the park. Right? <laughs> <laughs> bike fest. It's a super 
super family friendly event. Uh, it's, it's run by the Northampton Cycling Club, which is a 501c3 nonprofit. It's, a, it's our primary fundraiser for the okay. year. Perfect. And in the past, when you've had beer, it's been in the Dow Pavilion, is that correct? Yeah, the beer is served right outside. We have a roped off area okay. uh, with someone checking IDs and um, putting on wristbands uh, yep. for people buying beer. Okay. And it's the first time that Bandon Building will be providing the beer for this event? That's correct, yeah. Is it your first time doing something like this at the park? We've done beer festivals at the park okay. put on by, I think it's the park. There's yeah. actually, there's a beer festival happening the same day at a different section of Love Park. Okay. Um, this is the first time we've done something um, with, uh, with this organization. There's a lot of beer happening on September 22nd between this and what was happening at Building 8. Yeah, we didn't know about the beer fest until about three weeks ago. <laughs> we had planned the date uh, last September after the last event we booked, booked the Dow Blue Lane because yeah. it tends to get Yeah. 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 Cool. So the tip sort of like servers will be provided by the brewery. Okay. Uh, and then we're also going to be serving our beer. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to be ID'd as they come in. Um, we can risk and them. Um, and then there's going to be a set of roped off area yep. where we'll be serving it. All right. Fantastic. Good. Okay. 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 Um, I will make a motion to approve the application for a short term liquor license. Um, Building Brewery, LLC, on September 22nd from 12 to 5 p.m. at Lick Memorial Park, the Dow Pavilion, um, for Bike Fest, and it's a line and malt um, license. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Have a Thank good you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, Item number 10, okay. application yes. for common fit license, yes. UYA management, LLC, DBA, UYA, 89 Main Street, first floor of Florence, manager, um, Yun Zhang, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about this, please? Yes, uh, we're going to start a restaurant in Florence, and we're going to serve lunch and dinner hour from 11 to 9.30, seven days a week. And we sell poke bowl. It's a Hawaii dish. So it's like you choose the base. We provide rice, brown rice, mixed green, or you can use soybean wrap. Then you choose proteins. We do fish like salmon, tuna, and also um, steamed chicken, steamed shrimp, again tofu. And then you choose the sauce you like, you choose the mixing vegetables, you choose some toppings, the crunch topping like sesame. You make me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yes, it's really good. <laughs> I made it myself like, at home, I, I really love it. Awesome. And so we great. also sell beverage like bubble teas, um, green teas, like Smoking waters, uh, spring waters. Is Perfect. Good. Yeah, uh, um, that's also soup, miso soup. And how many seats will you have in the restaurant? There are 16 seats. Okay. And you'll obviously do takeout as well. Yes, uh, we, we're we going to do delivery <coughs> to uh, Delivery Express. Great. Yes, um, they are a great company locally, and I think uh, with their help, it's also a, group, uh, a great uh, advertising for us. Mm -hmm. Have you done this in another location, or is this your first venture? This is our first <coughs> Yes, but if this one is going to be, you know, I think it's going to be success because all the people like walking past by our stores, was the attractions, <laughs> they all ask me, when are you going to open? They are really expecting we have layers. So I think this after this one's done, we're going to start another one. Maybe, you know, Amherst, Northampton. Great. Fantastic. We're very excited to have you in Florence. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 This is a popular, very popular dish. Like uh, uh, I have it in Boston, uh -huh. in New York, and also um, uh, New York City, and also upstate New York. But there's no such things here. And it's pronounced poke. Yeah. There's a lot of debate about how po it's pronounced. Uh, most people pronounce it poke. Poke. Yeah. Okay. Poke. And is that correct? <laughs> So that should be correct. Okay. You should ask someone from Hawaii because it's original from Hawaii. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for bringing it cool. to our uh, region. Appreciate that. Thank you. Nice. Um, good. You guys have any other questions? I don't. Oh, when are you opening? Yeah. Mid September. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do uh, EDD at uh, every door direct thing. So if, okay. if you live in this area, you're going to be seeing it. Okay, great. great. 
Well, I'll uh, make, make a motion to approve the application for common big store license for UYA Management, LLC, at 89 Main Street on the first floor um, for the Pokey Restaurant. I'll say you. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Thank you um, so much. Thank you. Um, I have questions. So how would I expect the license to be mailed out to the address? Or? I will send you an email with everything in the morning. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. We're going to go back to item number six. Application for short-term liquor license, Blue Paws, Inc., MBA, JG's Tavern, Saturday, October 6, 2018, 2 to 8 p.m. It's at JJ's Tavern, 99 Main Street, Florence, Oktoberfest celebration, wine and malt. Can you state your name? For the uh, John Newman, Blue Paws, Inc., JJ's Tavern. Okay, thanks for coming. Sorry, I'm That's all right. Is this the, um, this is the same you've had in the past? Yep, fourth annual. Doing this on, in the parking lot? Yep, back parking lot, close it off on all three sides. And, right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty much it goes over here. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been on the board. Yeah. I remember time. last year. You sure you don't want to move the date to September 22nd because everybody else is drinking beer that day? Like, yeah, I saw that on the docket. It seems okay. Like we're, we're, we're subject to um, the Big E, so we can't get the equipment from the beer company. Oh, okay. that, literally everything's in the Big E, so we need right. the infrastructure. So right. that's the next available date. Okay. Change the name to September Fest. Right. That's true, too. Yeah, that's right. Right. I had a bad idea, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Um, I don't have further questions. I recall you coming to us last year for the same event, and there were no issues that came out of it. So, yeah. No oh, questions? Motion. I will make a motion um, to approve the application for a short term liquor license by Blue Paws Inc. JJ's Tavern, first Saturday, October 6th, from 2 to 8 p.m. Um, at JJ's Tavern, 99 Main Street, Florence, for the Oktoberfest celebration. It's a wine and mold license. I'll second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Thank Thanks for Thanks, everyone. Okay, number 11, communications updates from the clerk. <coughs>
spreadsheet and you send it down and everyone that's serving outside has a table and chairs for them. Okay. Yeah, oh good, everyone's complying. Everyone's complying. That's great. Um, they actually have to fill one out every year and post them on there. But, but, um, so like, we'll just make sure next spring to request this so we can make sure everyone's complying. Do they have any record keeping within their spreadsheet that indicates which establishment serves alcohol?
exhausted all their. Yeah, you know, I understand what you're saying. So, I just want to. I would like to have something listed in there that you know states, or just maybe that's just our premise. You know, I don't know if it needs to be in black and white or not, but I think we need to consider that going forward when there's those types of violations. So, or when they're brought to us and they're not mm -hmm. violations at that point, but you know, so I just want to bring that portion of these rules up. I know that there's going to be concern. Other bar owners about you know, things like that. And that's not a specific 2 a.m. closing rule, then, right? Just, right. It's just no, it's not a 2 a.m. thing, but if we're going to put together, you know, I don't know if that's like you said, uh, I wouldn't mind going rule by rule. I would find it helpful, going and I think to for the legitimacy of the uh, commission that we should have. When you went through and found yeah. the no, year's no. worth of um, minutes, mm -hmm. could you kind of like tab them so you have them accessible? Yeah, I have them either on my computer or... Is it something that would be simple to put together for us to... You know what I mean? If you threw that together for us to all review, or is that not Yes, so, so part of my dilemma this month was trying to figure out how to translate this information to you guys. That's a lot of Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to explain if I send you a bunch of documents, it's hard to explain like the thought process. So I almost need to do the same, um, do the functions that you did. Well, I mean, I can, so you, you'd like to see minutes from? I just, you know, see why each rule, you know, how it came about. Like we understand the one, you know, out in after one because it makes sense. We don't want people getting hurt. Right. Know, racing around town, so right. we get that. I mean, maybe we just start by reading them and discussing. Yeah. And then if we have to. I mean, I honestly, Bob McGovern didn't come. He was the thought that he might come for public comment. So I just want to be able to, you know, when license holders do come in with concerns about the structure of the rules and regulations or what they mean and why they're there, I want to be able to answer that and, yeah. and have. Right. Striking wine and malt 
tips. I'm just, we only have the acronym, so I just want to add training for intervention procedures. And then I do want to add on premise and off premise because um, they, back then, they didn't have off premise, but they did have it. I think right. we should specify that we be able to set either off premise or off premise. So that'll come in like going to the department or whatever this Off premise is for a um, package. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then for number two, it's not sponsored by the Massachusetts Council Association anymore. They are just talking about themselves, so I just want to get rid of that. Um, and then servicing is not sponsored by the Mass Restaurant Association. They're on the so I just want to get rid of that. Um, AIM workshop, there is no information that I could find. Um, so I have a I don't know who Campbell and Trent is either. Um, I have the minutes from the meeting. I have no idea. Yeah. Who they are? They, they, I couldn't find any information on how to take any courses. Couldn't find anything. So strike so four all together. Strike four all together. Um, come of age is for 7-Eleven. We don't have any 7-Elevens. And it also is, come of age is um, a training program preventing illegal sales. Like cigarettes? Yeah, tobacco. And it's only for 7 Eleven corporations that we don't have any. Okay, so we strike that? Yeah, and then I want to add. Um, beverage alcohol training sponsored by the Mass Package Store Association. Okay. We, so. we already accept those, so I just want to add, add it to it. So I'll make a motion. Um, on one dash one responsible liquor service certification. Item number one tips training um, to add the training for intervention procedures on premise and off premise. And then on number two, strike sponsored by Massachusetts Pack and Store Association. And number three, strike sponsored by Massachusetts Restaurant Association. Number four, strike that all together. Number five, strike that as well. And add item number six, which will now become number four, I assume, is beverage alcohol training. BAT sponsored by Massachusetts Package Store Association. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the only other one was on the 2 a.m. rules. This is already happening. Um, that they
there's not any barriers. Mm -hmm. um, that there's there's nothing in our rules and regulations that have anything to do with outdoor skiing and service. So, and the only thing that the ABCC puts out is, I mean, they have they have some guidelines, but there's nothing that says it needs to be off. Oh, so if they choose to do that, that's on. That's for their own. Well, we've always asked, though. We've always, yeah, yeah, because you'd like to know. But I, I, I assumed it was a requirement. Well, we've always asked if you're going to the park and you're setting up a tent. You know, no, those for things like that. Sidewalks, though. I remember oh, Elaine really? would always ask, yeah, what's your, can you show us your plan for how you're oh, cordoning off your outdoor seating? Right. But I mean, there's nothing that's actually like entrance exit only, you know, even Spoletto's, which I found to be the best um, out of all that I looked at, has just planters and you can walk between any of the mm -hmm. number of places. So. I mean, the, ABC, the ABCC says that the premise must be enclosed by a fence, rope, or other means to prevent access from a public walkway. Well, some people need to comply then. Um, most of them. And then the outdoor area must be contiguous to the licensed premise with a clear view of the area from inside the premises or alter alternatively the licensee may commit to pro providing management personnel dedicated to the area. So that answers that question because there's the question about like does that mean you have to have someone stationed out there if you have outdoor seating but the I'm answer sorry, is yeah. if you can see them from the inside yes. right you don't need to but you don't need to have someone stay there. So if you go to the restaurant on the corner, is it mushy, mushy, or mushy, mm -hmm. mushy, mushy? If you're in that and you're behind, you know, where they're making their food product to serve, that building as you come out goes this way and there's tables up against there. So they're, so in other words, would they have to have someone stationed out there to watch them? You know what I mean? I don't know. This is where I mean, yeah. <laughs> why I think we need to talk about what we accept versus, oh my God, that's so, it's, it, it, you know, to add another person a payroll to be able to do stuff like that. That's, mm -hmm. I've been approached by, I'm sure as you guys probably have to, but, um, you know, other owners that are saying the same thing, like I mentioned, Fitzwillies. Yeah, Fitzwillies, um, they are. There's just two tables out in front of, I think, Terrace Yeah, they're actually approved for. Six tables and twelve chairs in the outside area in front of the license premise. Which is that's what their regular license says. That's that's what we're that's what toast and slash toast Both of them. Yeah, okay. but they yeah. but they don't. Yeah, yeah. Two, two. two outside toast it out only. Right. And that's within sight line in front of them. Yeah, you can staff. see those tables <laughs> from Well, if people aren't sitting in front of the windows, Right. So that's what I mean. There's nothing, there's, 
apparently know nothing about you. Yeah. So answer is, I'm doing nothing. I'm going to say, okay. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So those were what I had from my rules. Um, I can email you those things from other tablets. I think it would be helpful mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. 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 Um, <coughs> I mean, if it's touch, to, I don't know, to touch on that again, I was just trying to find out, like, what were the conversations, what were they thinking, but yeah. I don't think it matters. I mean, that's a ton of work for you. If we, I mean, I already, we can I've already found ourselves. them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, even, like this right here, this is, this is a whole discussion Local brands. I will be selling local produce, packed food like maple syrup, pickle, candy. 
cookies and sauce. I guess I need a food, retail <laughs> food permit if people would like to sit indoors according to whether I have space for maximum 15 people. So, yes. <laughs> so the requirement is where food is sold and the premises contains kitchen and dining room equipment and the capacity for preparing, cooking, and serving food. Would that include I mean, she'll need a food permit from the Board of Health. Yes. Um, if she has a commercial refrigerator, if she's got that level of equipment, she would need it. Okay. Because it's not just all pretty packaged. I mean, right. in my right. understanding, it's always common that it's like pretty packaged, like sodas and the ketogens. Right, but she's opening the container. Yeah, I it's very common. So there's yeah. not really a mass general.
they don't if they don't respond to her, um, then we're, we're gonna have to hold it, right? Yeah. And then it's gonna, to myself. It's gonna go into a tax Then yeah, you should do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's very straight. Yeah, I pay for Yeah, you have to do <laughs> Yeah, that's been something brewing for some time, it seems. It's bad. Yeah, they got a letter in August. They just got a letter in today. That's sad. It is. It's, uh, I don't know, full tilt of the window, so I think that they're making money. All right, uh, is that it for that is it. Good business? Um, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye.